Hello and welcome to part two of my journey with this guitar. This is my Hofner, very thin and it's a vintage guitar and I've now learned that it is 1965. So I've made a part one of course since this is part two and part one you can find it up here if I manage to put a link there or you can just see it uh, through my uh, videos and find it there if you're interested in this guitar. So in that video I mentioned some things that I guess is not original in this uh, guitar. There are some people that know a lot about Hofner guitars obviously and uh, one of those are Billy Bob Ireland. I'm not sure if that is your name but uh, that's your YouTube channel name. And uh, thank you for all that good info that you provided uh, Billy Bob. It is a 65 and the pickups are called 511 humbuckers. And the bridge is not original, it used to be a rosewood one with some metal, what is he saying, metal compensator track he called it. So I put up a picture of an original 65 a bit later on because there was another guy that was so kind to send me pictures of his 65 but I'll get back to that. So uh, Billy Bob continues also with saying that the three-way switch that is here, that is not original because you can just see it that it's not part of this guitar. He also says that uh, the pickup frames are not original. Of course, I also found that yeah, they are, uh, they look homemade. So um, there is a problem with finding the serial number on this. I guess it's just gone, faded. So uh, Billy Bob says that it supposedly should be inside here. On the note, I can't find anything in here. And uh, the other guy mentioned that it is stamped here on top of the headstock. I can't see anything it's here, so no. It's missing a scratch plate. Yeah, there is a hole here. So that's probably where it was on this guitar. So you can see it here, right here. That's it from uh, Billy Bob Ireland. Thanks for that. I had a comment from Jean Yves. I hope I pronounced that name correctly. And he says that the bridge that is on the guitar now is an Ibanez bridge and it's called Gibraltar. So the second guy that wrote me was a sweet. He's called Dan Lund. Hey Dan, if you're watching. Thanks a lot for all the good uh, info you sent and for the nice pictures. They will really show how the guitar is supposed to be. So you can see from this picture how the pickup frames are supposed to be. Much nicer than the ones that are in this guitar now with these wooden uh, things that are homemade and uh, also the bridge I, I will try to get hold of one of those because um, I'm not quite happy with the bridge that is in here now you can see that there is not a three-way switch and also the headstock with the truss rod cover in place on his guitar so it was very nice to have that as a reference to see when I'm going to search for more original parts for this guitar. So you can see on the bridge pickup, underneath that there is a piece of wood and it's stopping the pickup from getting any lower. So I would like to lower the pickup but it's not possible because it has to rest on that piece. And these new uh, pickup covers, the, or the frames I mean, they are not allowing it to be adjusted height-wise. I did a bit of uh, fiddling with the bridge and the saddles to uh, see if I could make another bridge fit. I tried a roller bridge that I had laying around. I had to use some force and I, I really don't want to do that because it's so fragile this guitar. So uh, I decided to work with the existing bridge, this Ibanez bridge. And I filed uh, the saddles a bit to make them a bit more reliable. I had trouble with the saddles on this bridge because on the lighter strings the string would jump out of the groove. So I filed the groove a bit more to uh, make it a bit more uh, firm so the string will sit better. And it does, so it's much more playable now. And I also did some fret leveling. I uh, found that uh, they were uh, jumping all over the place and uh, making the guitar sound more like a sitar than a guitar. It helped a lot to do that. 
it plays very nicely now. So the action of this guitar is pretty okay, but it gets a bit high when you come up here. It's playable, but I would wish for it a bit, just a tad lower in this area here. But I struggled to fix that because of the bridge that is very hard to adjust the height of. And I would like to lower the bridge pickup a bit. It, it looks to be quite okay, the truss rod, when I um, test. So I think it's more to do with this area. If, if I'm able to get hold of an original bridge, I uh, hope that I could fix that. And I'm also hoping to be able to fix something for the pickups, uh, get hold of uh, original uh, frames. So I could maybe work with the height adjustment. But all in all, I'm so happy that this guitar now is more playable and I really enjoyed playing it. I love the tones from the pickups, playing it through my small tweed amp today and going through a 10 inch uh, speaker from Eminence. Great sound. And I uh, just added a tad of my sweet honey overdrive from Matt Professor to just get it barely into breakup. I haven't done anything to fix the electronics. I talked about that in part one, but I haven't done it because I figured out how it works now and it, it works. So why fix something that works? But it's a bit odd. I would think that these two would be the volumes, uh, maybe for the neck and bridge and respectively the tones. But it's not like that. The layout is like, this is the volume for the neck. This is the volume for the bridge and tones for the neck and tones for the bridge. And the tones work counterclockwise. So <laughs> if I turn them clockwise, they will go dark. And if I turn them counterclockwise, they will go bright. So it's a bit, it's just something to get used to. I guess they are just soldered incorrectly or I don't know. The volume works as they are supposed to. Turning them clockwise will turn up the volume. This uh, switch here, it's three positions but it only works on the far left and the far right. If it's in the middle there's no sound. So this will go to the neck and this will go to the bridge pickup. As long as I know about it it's fine. So I won't do anything to the electronics as long as it works. Shall we just uh, go ahead and play? I was very um, pleased with the tones from it so I, I hope you can enjoy that. All right. Stay tuned, maybe there will be a part three if I manage to get hold of some uh, new parts or vintage parts, hopefully.
I forgot to tell you that I broke a string at the end there. Um, I was playing quite energetic, but uh, I suspect that uh, I um, haven't smoothed out enough the groove in the saddle that I filed down. So I need to work a bit more on that, I guess. But it lasted through the video, so uh, I'm good. Okay, this is a fun project. I love this guitar and it looks very good hang on the wall in my living room and my wife even loves it. Okay, bye for now.